This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector style halftone text using Inkscape. And uh, for this sort of thing, you're going to want to use a really heavy weight, like a thick, heavy font for that. So the font I would recommend using for this is called Montserrat. I'll have a link to that in the description. If you do want to use that font to follow along with this tutorial, just make sure you download and install that font before opening Inkscape. If you try installing it while you, ha while you have Inkscape open, you'll have to close out of Inkscape and restart it again in order for the font to be active within the software. So uh, I'm going to close out of this and get started. At any point in this tutorial, you can look down at the bottom left-hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. And if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do in Inkscape is go to View, make sure we have that set to Custom, and we'll zoom in at 1 to 1. And then I'll open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button up here. And we're going to want Last Selected chosen from that drop-down. And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button right there. So what we're going to do now is create our text. So I'm going to grab the text tool over here, or you just press F8 on the keyboard as a shortcut. And I'm going to click on the canvas, and for this tutorial, I'm just going to write text. I'm going to use all caps. I'm going to hold the Shift key and type text. And uh, we've got to select our font, so we'll come up here to the text editor. And I'll just click on one of these names here, and I'll just start typing M-O-N-T-S. And there's our font, Montserrat, right there. And I'm going to choose Heavy. We're going to want the Heavy one there. And go ahead and click Apply. Close out of that. And these letters are a little too close together, so we want to space them out more. So I'm going to come up here to where it says uh, Spacing Between Letters. And I'm just going to hold up on this arrow to put some space between those letters. We want them to be pretty far apart. Uh, don't worry about them being too far apart for the end result. In the end, we can go back and bring them closer to each other, as you see I've done here in the thumbnail. So. I'm just going to I just want to make sure that they're spaced out a good amount so they don't get in the way of each other. And uh, I'll go back to the select tool and I'll hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the on the corner arrow here and just scale that up to about that size. And I want to come over here to the blur slider and slide that to the right a little bit to give that a blur. Maybe not that much. You still want to be able a good a good rule of thumb here is you still want to be able to see some white space between the legs of the E here. So um, that's a pretty good way to gauge it right there. I'll go with maybe like 3.7. See how that looks. That's pretty good. And once I've done that, what I want to do is right click on that and go to copy. And then grab this uh, squares and rectangles tool. And I'm just going to draw a, um, a red square. Whoops. I'm just going to draw a square, I mean uh, a rectangle like that. And then you can go ahead and turn it red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... Um, Edit, Paste Size, uh, Paste Size, and click Paste Size. And it's going to make it the same size that text object is. And I'll go to the Select tool. I'll make that white. And I'll lower that one step so it goes beneath the text. And then I'll hold Shift and click on the text. And I'll just center it on the vertical and horizontal axis and click off it to deselect everything. And as you see, it didn't exactly go beneath the text. So I'm going to click on the square again. And I'll just click on this again, lower selection one step. And that's pretty good. Then we can click off of that to deselect everything. So what we want to do now is create a new layer. So we'll come up here to the layers, uh, the view layers uh, button. Click on that. And click on this little plus icon that says create a new layer. And I'm just going to name this layer, uh, layer 2. Put it above, the uh, above current and click add. And on this layer I'm going to create a circle. I'll come over to the circles and ellipses tool. And uh, I'm going to make this ellipse black, so I'll click on the color black. And I'll just hold Control and Shift and create a little perfectly round circle. Maybe about that big. You don't want it to be too big, but then again, you don't want it to be too small. Maybe maybe that big's pretty good. Uh, you could always go back and edit it if you don't like the result. So we'll just leave it at that size for now. We'll go back to the Select tool. I want to convert that to a path. So we'll go to Path, Object to Path. And then I'll hold Shift and click on the text and come down here to the uh, Align and Distribute menu and I want to make sure we align the left edges and then align the top edges like that so it's sitting up there in the top left corner and then click off of that to deselect everything. So what we want to do now is we'll go to Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones and we'll come over to this Trace tab and uh, we're going to want Width and Height selected here and then we're going to want to have this selected here, Trace the Drawing under the Tiles 
and just make sure the rest of these parameters are set. We want colors, zero, zero, and we want to choose size right there. And what we want to do for the width and the height is we want to take the width and the height of the text. So I'll click on the text object, and you notice up here in the W column, it shows you the width. So I'm just going to click and drag over that to highlight it, and I'll hit Control C on the keyboard to copy that. And I'll come over here and highlight this text. I'll hit Control V to paste it. And I'll come over here and copy this text, Control C. Come over here, paste this into the height, Control V. And what we want to do now is click on the circle, the black circle, and then click Create. And it's going to create a little half tone going over the text. And we can close out of that, that uh, the Create Tile Clones menu. And what we can do now is we can click on the first layer, layer 1, and then just press the delete button on the keyboard, delete, not on the keyboard, on the uh, menu here. Delete the current layer, delete, and there goes the rest of that text. Close out of that. And we could take this circle and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And we have our text now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these a little closer. I'm going to click over this letter, group it together. Click over that letter, group it together. That letter as well, that letter as well. I'm just going to bring these a little a little closer together like that. You can just hold shift, click on each one. And as you can see, you can't really see that it says the word text. I mean, you, I guess you kind of can, but um, it's maybe not as good as you'd like it to be. So what you could do is just go back and make that original circle smaller. So what I'll do is I'll just undo this a bunch of times. Instead of hitting undo up here a thousand times, I'm just going to hit control Z. So I'll call it control Z to undo everything. Keep pressing it until it goes back in time to when I Whoops, there we go. Why isn't that showing? Okay, there we go. And then I'll go back here, I'll click on that circle, I'm going to zoom in on that again. Press plus on the keyboard to zoom in. I'm just going to hold control and make that a little smaller, maybe about that much. And I'll press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. I'm going to edit, clone, create tiled clones, come over to trace. All these parameters should still be set from the last time you used it, and click create. See if that looks a little better. There you go, that does look a little better. We can close out of that. Um, let me go back to the Layers menu. Click on Layer 1, delete that. Oops. Delete Layer 1, close out of that. And that does, that looks a little better. But yeah, I think that's pretty good enough. Take that circle, delete it. Press Delete on the keyboard. And then you could just click and drag over all of these and bring them closer together. Click and drag over all of them. Hold control on the keyboard to lock it to the horizontal axis. Bring it over here. Bring this over here. And you could take the whole thing here and just hold control and shift and scale it up. And you see we have our halftone text. You can go and make that different colors. You make it red, orange, uh, blue, whatever color you want. So uh, that's pretty much how you could do that using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.